Hey guys, welcome back to Bronson's Math Club. Today's topic is techniques to simplify algebraic expressions. So, algebraic expressions consist of constants, variables, and operators. To solve an algebraic expression, first you have to solve the distributive property if there is any, and then you have to find the like terms and add or subtract them. Here's an example of an algebraic expression. 2a parentheses 4b plus 5. To simplify this expression, we have to use distributive property. So we're going to be multiplying 2a times 4b and then 2a times 5. 2a times 4b gives us 8a b. 2a times 5 gives us positive 10a. This is the simplified form of this expression. Now let's simplify this algebraic expression. So remember, to simplify an algebraic expression, first you have to um, apply the distributive property where it needs to be applied, and then you find the like terms and add or subtract them. This part of the expression is where we can apply distributive property. Negative b parentheses 4a minus 4b. First, let me just copy this term down, 7a. Now, we solve. We need to solve this using distributive property. So, we're going to multiply first negative b times 4a. And then, we're going to multiply negative b times negative 4b. Negative b times 4a gives us negative 4ab. Negative b times negative 4b gives us positive 4b to the second power. Now we copy down the other terms which are positive 9b to the second power plus 4a. Second step is to find the like terms and add or subtract them. So our first like terms are 7a and 4a. Why are they like terms? Well because like terms are terms that have the same variable and the same power of that variable. So a doesn't have a power so the power is going to be 1. In the same way 4a a is the same variable and it has the same power uh, which is 1. So 7a and 4a make so 7a and 4a make 11a and then now you copy down the term which is negative 4ab. Now the other two like terms are positive 4b to the second power and positive 9b to the second power. Positive 4 and positive 9 make positive 13b to the second power. This is the simplified form of this expression. Okay, so that's that for this video and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!